Morning, you guys open for business? Hey, good morning. Yes, how are you doing today? Doing well. Welcome to Disposition Services. In Disposition okay. Services, we're scattered around the world. We're in 41 states, 15 countries, two U.S. territories, and I can't get to all the sites all the time. Uh, we had all kinds of stuff. Here. The culture survey, to me, is the only time that I can get everybody's opinion on the same subjects and the same questions at the same time. In the last two culture surveys, there was a theme to some of the comments that indicated that you see us at our best, we do a dog and pony show when you come out, you see us at our worst if something bad happens, but you never see us on a typical day, and you may not have an appreciation of a typical challenges. Michael Cannon. So that's what I've started doing. I don't announce, I just show up. Mr. Cannon? Yes, how's it going? And I spend the day with the employees, I, I help work, I go to customer visits, I talk to them, and I try to find out what their typical challenges are so that I know that the decisions that I'm making and the resources that I'm providing are the right ones to fix their true challenges and not just the things that get filtered when they get to my level. So let me give you a quick tour. Okay, excellent. It's nice now, when the director comes out. As a receiver, you typically you feel undervalued. Your work environment's dirty, it's hot, it's freezing cold in February. It's nice when the director comes from Battle Creek out to where you work. It's a little bit of a breaking bread moment. It's very eye-opening. I found locations where they didn't have the right equipment or facilities, and they just didn't know to ask. I can make real substantive changes that seem really minor at a big headquarters level, but to that individual yeah, employee working, you know, that's a game changer. The culture survey is super important when the director gets a chance to read everybody's voice. So here's the one opportunity where everybody's voice is equal. 